I think even when I was in my nursery, I used to sign off every homework of mine writing Dr. Kanchan Kaur Surgeon. My parents tell me that the first word I had said was a drug. And that gave me inspiration. I like the idea that you, know, you could give a joy to a patient just by treating a patient. So that was one of the reasons why I decided that I should become a doctor. I was a doctor when I was a doctor. I was a doctor when I was a doctor. I was a doctor when I was a doctor. The kind of respect that you get and the kind of satisfaction they used to get when they used to come home and they used to discuss some cases, it was amazing. I was always very keen to, to serve, you know, to do something for people. And medicine seemed to be very much the right uh, profession to allow you to uh, serve people. Earlier in my times, uh, probably, there were two professions to look forward to by the parents to engineering or medical and uh, the only form of recreation was I think study and work and work and work more. It is a tough journey there is no doubt right from when you getting into the medical college and then passing those five and a half years and then doing a post graduation and then a specialization so it's actually a long journey. I remember 84 that match uh, cricket match everybody was watching that match final World Cup and I was studying with the books there in my room. Along with the child, the family also makes sacrifices like parents. That time they avoided calling people over to our place and they also would not go to others places. For females, there is an age limit when you have to do everything, whether wherever you are, you have to listen to your parents. And that's the time I was told to decide either marriage or neurology. And I always say, my marriage is second because first is I've already married to neurology. This is a profession when you have to sleep at night. Whether it's a rain, 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 अपने कष्टों को लेकर आते हैं। We see human misery and human suffering. We can't just lock our clinic doors and go home and forget about it. So we do take it back with us somewhere in our subconscious mind. Struggle with a case for 20, 25 odd days. You just tend to go silent. You introspect what could have been done better. Some days I go back home and do not have a meal. Skip that meal that night. My spouse knows that he is not eating. She asks me and I just say I need to be alone and silent. There is a life outside of medicine, outside of the hospital, which equally requires you. Your family needs you and you, know, you have to be present entirely for them as well. It's constantly on the back of my mind that I'm not present at home enough for my, my daughter and you know, for my family and um, just to be around and just be doing simple stuff like going to the shop. I'm just never there. So that does weigh me down quite a bit. When it comes to my kids, I'd rather let them decide and I certainly would have no problems if my daughter turns around and says she wants to be a painter or she wants to be a cook. My thing is that maybe when she is a uh, little like 13, 14 years old, I would want to want her to experience different things. So one point of time he thought that he'll be a dental surgeon but that also phased out after some time. The main thing that actually keeps you going in this profession is the satisfaction that you get when you've made a difference to somebody else's life. I've been a doctor by choice. I mean, I didn't feel like I was a doctor. I left India, left veterinary, left a lot of things, and then I became a doctor. I think that if I'm a doctor, I don't make anything. I've had no regrets. There have been ups and downs, and there are times when uh, I wonder if, I, if that was the right thing. But, uh, but uh, ultimately, I think that if I had to do it again, I would choose this. Oh, I would never give it up. I am an ardent believer of Bhagavad Gita, Nishkam Karm. We just keep on doing our acts and we leave the consequences to God. At this stage of life, I would say that uh, I think I'm perfectly fit for this profession. If given a chance, I'd relive my life all over again the same way. I would not want to be anything else but a doctor and that to a surgeon. It is my identity, it is what I do, I won't have it any other way.